Hello everyone and welcome. Today I am taking you on a high speed journey to one of the hottest and most in demand certification in technology, the Databricks Certified Generative AI Engineer Associate. In this video, I am giving you the complete blueprint. This is not just a list of topics, this is exact strategy and set of material I used to pass the exam. I will show you how to master Generative AI on the Databricks platform. This is Data AI Express. So grab a coffee, open your notes and get on board. Our journey starts now. All right, let's talk about the battery plan. The exam is 90 minutes long. In the 90 minutes, we have 56 questions to solve. That means that you just have over 90 seconds per question. Speed and accuracy is everything here. They will test you across six key domains, each with different weightages. Design application. It has an 8 question, data preparation, 8 questions, application development, a massive importance has a 17 question, and then assembling and deploying application has 12 questions. So overall application development and assembling and deploying apps itself has nearly 29 questions out of 56. This is the more than half of your entire exam just on building and deploying applications. Governance has four questions, evolution and monitoring has seven questions. Now here is the most important warning I can give you. You must pass every single domain. You can't just get 100% in application development and fail in governance. If you get a zero in any sections, even that small four questions that you have, you will consider it as a fail in the whole exam. This proves they are testing you on a complete engineer. And all the questions are based on real-world scenarios. So let's break down each section in detail. First, designing application. This is all about planning your EA before you write a single line of code. They will ask how you would design a new AI in these cases. Using generative AI, agentic AI. What prompting techniques that you would use. You must know the difference between zero sort, few sort, and especially chain of thought prompting. How do you decompose a giant business problem into smaller, manageable tasks for the LLM? And of course, the model selection. When you do use built-in Databricks models like DBRX, what parameter size do you need? When would you use a specialized model like Whispers for audio? So your eight questions on vision will come from right here. Next, a key topic, data preparations. It also has eight questions. Friends, listen to me. This is most important underrated part of any AI project. They say 100% sure. Garbage in, garbage out. Your Gen AI applications can be work of art. But if you, the data you feed is a mess, your project will fail. These sections cover the data loading methods and the libraries that you will use. How do you handle a complex inputs? Is it structured, semi-structured, or a messy PDF? This leads to the most critical topic in RAG, chunking. What is your LLM context window sites? What chunking strategy that you are using? I guarantee you, you will get the question support setting overlapping chunks to preserve context. And after you chunk your dark ones, how do you apply the metadata tagging? Troubleshooting is a key thing. You will get a scenario questions that says your RAG application is giving a bad results. The model can't understand the context. What's the first thing that you would check? The answer is always your checking strategy and data preparation, right? You will get many questions just like that. And now the big one, the application development. With 17 questions, this is the core of the exam. How do you actually build an application? What framework will you choose? Langchain, Llama Index, Haystack. They will test why did you pick one for a specific use case. Where do you use a smaller model, SLM versus LLMs? How do you set up Databricks vector search? Is it self-managed or is it order syncing from a data table? They even asked a few questions on land chains in this. So be prepared. But this whole section is all about one thing, the RAG pattern, retrieval augmentation generation. You must know all four stages in it, indexing, retrieval, augmentation and generation. If your RAG app gives you a vague results, what do you do? Did you use metadata filtering to improve the search performance? 
This section is a mix of theory and code. Okay, you have built your app, but building is not enough. You have to deploy and govern it. This is assembling and deploying apps. It has 12 questions. You must know two tools inside out, MLflow and Unity Catalog. These are the core database products. There will be many questions from this. How do you use them to control the deployment? How do you manage the cost? How do you ensure the endpoint security? What are your deployment strategies for production? And how do you control them? This section goes beyond the simple generic to ask about agent decay. This is the key concept. How do you assemble multiple models into one application? What agents can run in parallel? How do you connect the output of one agent to the output of another agent? You will get practical questions on the agentic framework like REACT, which stands for a reason and act. You will also see concepts like observe and act. You must know these advanced concepts for assembling, deploying and governing complex and multi-step applications. When you hear governance, you should immediately think Unity Catalog. This section is all about Unity Catalog. How does RBAC works, role-based access control works? What do you do with PIA, personally identified information data? What are the data masking techniques that you need to apply? How do you build trustworthy AI? It's only four questions, but remembering my warning, you must pass these excels. You have to get at least two or three of these four right. If you fail all four, you fail the exam. Don't skip these sections. These are all the easy points that if you study. Next, seven questions on evolution and monitoring. Your app is deployed, but it, is it good? How do you evaluate the output? How do you benchmark it? You will need to know the scoring metrics. What is rogue for? What is plague for? How do you measure the model confidence? A huge topic here is LLM as a judge. How do you use on one LLM to evaluate another LLM's output? You will also get questions on data drift and how do you get deterministic repeatable outputs by changing the factors like temperature and top P, K values. So, how do you prepare for all this? First, Databricks itself has a fantastic 10-hour sets of courses in the academy. It's about four to five short courses, two or each, that makes up complete generative AI engineering roadmap. This will give you the complete understanding. We have covered the concept of generative AI agent decay in many videos. Please go and watch it out. That will also add to your knowledge. And understanding is not only enough, you must also put your hands dirty. So start building some small RAD application, some chatbot, and try to apply the study materials that what you have understood so far. After building, go and take mock exams on the platform like Udemy. This is a key for practice. And manage your time, 90 seconds per question. If you stuck, flag it and move on. So to, to summarize my top five must-know tips are master the RAG outflow on how to integrate it in the Databricks. Know the purpose of vector search, unity catalog, model serving and MLflow. Know how to troubleshoot chunking problems. This will be on the exam. Understand basic land chain concepts like PROM templates and agent executor. Memorize the RAG evolution methods like faithfully precision and relevancy. You can book the exam through Webster portal. I went and took it in person. So here is my score. Now I want to be very honest with you. I only prepared for three days. How? Because I already worked with generative and agent decay applications day in day out so i had to apply the practical knowledge all i understood was just fine tune the databricks specific knowledges and just prepare some practical exams as soon as you click the complete the exam you will immediately get the messages in the email and then within 24 to 48 hours they will send you an official batches and this just not a certification it's a databricks first to four star certification this shows how valuable and advanced the certification is. Most fundamental certificates are usually one star and regular associate certificates are like two stars, three star, but this is a four star certification. The exam is about 200 US dollars, but Databricks often gives you some 50% discount through their learning festivals.
வாட்ச் அவுட் இன் லிங்க்ட் இன் இஃப் யூ ஹேப்பன் டு கெட் தோஸ் ஆப்பர்ச்சுனிட்டி மை ஃபைனல் அட்வைஸ் ஸ்டடி ஆல் சிக்ஸ் டொமைன் கோயிங் வித் அ கம்ப்ளீட் ப்ரிப்ரேஷன் அண்ட் டோன்ட் பேனிக் ரீட் த கொஸ்டின் ரீட் த ஆன்சர்ஸ் அண்ட் யூ கேன் ஆஃப் அண்ட் எலிமினேட் தர் ஆன் ஒன்ஸ் ஐ ஹவ் ப்ரிப்பேர்ட் சம் சாம்பிள் கொஸ்டின் சினாரியோஸ் விச் ஐ குட் ஏபிள் டு ரிமெம்பர் the rude ai behavior questions will be there how you fix the rude ai behavior type of responses you will be asked how to process pdfs with images and what model you will choose you will see questions on rag evolutions and metrics and you will get scenarios on how to restrict the chatbot behavior to restrain the topics in the upcoming sections i would like to share some 10 sample questions with my answers this will give you a real feel for the exam if you want more videos like that do let me know i will try to create a deep dive just on the practice questions and answer in a longer video uh, please let me know in the comments i'm happy to make a separate video on the same these next questions will give you understanding you need what the exam is really is I truly hope this video video was very useful to you. If you follow this blueprint, I am confident that you can get through these examinations and get certified. And please, if you pass the exam using this state, come back and let me know in comments. It will really make me very happy to see you succeed. As always, I hope this video was more helpful to you. I will see you guys in another meaningful video. Until then, it's bye from Data AI Express. Thanks everyone.